Hi, Nikki, on this beautiful pink full moon. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> now, the, the pink full moon is actually tomorrow, but it's at 1237 a.m. So it's right after midnight. And mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I got this meditation in before the actual peak of the full moon so that's why it's yeah. showing up a, a day before right. um so and i would like to place tonight yeah yes Early i would morning. like to say welcome to everybody that's on facebook and if you're watching this on facebook um just drop a hi and i see audrey is already on hi audrey hi audrey good to see you always love you and um, if you're watching this later on YouTube or later on Facebook, you know, just drop some comments so that we know who's on and who's around. And, um, you know, this is this is the first full moon of the new the new year. And um, we have been talking about intentions and we've been talking about manifesting and we've been doing this all through 2023. And I feel that that's really what 2023 is going to be all about. What do you, how do you, what do you think, Mickey? Well, I think that it's a very full year. <laughs> it's where we're <laughs> starting, we're kind of starting to run. You know, when you're in a race, the first five steps are the most important. Yes. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're about to go into a totally new age that's 23 to 26 hundred years of one thing and we just crossed stepped from one path sideways into the next one you know we're going around in a circle and we've stepped into the next pie slice so we took all the gangsters with us as man is likely to do but this is the first part so that we're about to run a race it's going to last 20 years the first part of it is 20 years. So as, as we start looking at how we can intend, how can we project what our needs and desires are without calling them needs and desires? That's the rub. Yes. Okay. There hangs the trick. Yes, you may need something. Yes, you may want something. But the real trick to the magic is to assume you already have it because you've got to prove you really do believe in your own power. And yes. that's how you do it. Okay. And there's no other way. That's it. We spent our whole lives trying to learn that trick is to stop saying, I want, I need, I wish, shoulda, coulda, woulda. All of those are poison. So from here on out, it's I am. I am that, I am that I am. You know, anything you follow I am with is now weaponized. And That's in true. this particular full moon, we have some big boys doing the weaponizing. <laughs> That's beautiful. That, yeah. Well, yeah. And, you know, here, yes. And we have been talking about the I ams and, and setting those intentions and saying those positive ways and and really you can you can make anything into a positive but that's not the way we were taught and it is a change of our knee-jerk reaction as how to answer questions or how to think about things and exactly. sometimes sometimes it is hard for people to know what they want what they need they know what they don't need and they know what they don't want but it's it's sometimes a little tricky you know to say what we do need um now this pink moon is in libra which is very balancing and um there's there's a lot of um beauty in life there's a lot of balance in life there's a lot of healing that comes with this full moon um what else is going on right now about well, libra libra as i said it's very deeply connected to Venus, the planet Venus, because it's about beauty and beauty, art, drama, you know, mm, music. Okay. All so all that, the arts. Mm -hmm. All of the arts. And the fact that it's about balance is a little bit different from the balance that's indicated by Saturn. 
in Capricorn and all of that, because that balance is not tonight. It indicates oh. stagnation. So when we use the word balance, we have to be very fully aware that we mean a certain kind of balance. We mean a person who's, quote, well-adjusted. Yes. Their viewpoint is well-adjusted. I hesitate to say balance. It's an ancient symbol of, you know, the scales. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we have to be careful because we're in a start mode. And we don't want to do anything to make us think about 50-50 because 50-50 is dead. Right, right. So we want to look <laughs> There's at no movement in 50-50. So we right. want to be the 51 to somebody else's 49. Okay. <laughs> and, and and it's and it's a stable thing. It's it's yes. a stability. Yes, it's about being happy. That kind of balance where you're happy because this thing and that thing are so equal to each other, fulfilling as each other is. So different balance. And you know, you have to be cool with the word. When you get up in the morning, the absolutely first do is look in the mirror and go I love you yes now I don't care what else you do all day I don't care how negative you are for the rest of the day you have to start with that infusion of positive energy and it goes out into the whole rest of your day it's you know, that thing I, mean, where, you know, I start I start every day I look in the mirror and after I was up right as I'm brushing my teeth, you know, right, right afterwards, I brush my teeth first. And I, you know, I'm, I look in the mirror and I look in my eyes and I say, Kate, I love you. Right. And, and I have been doing that for months now and has made such a big impact in my life. People don't think that it is important, you know, oh, come on, that's bull. Oh, that, oh what's that going to do? But the deal is you have shot yourself some positive energy before anything else gets to you. Now, if you do that every day, you're adding that much every day. And eventually you can learn to follow that with something else that's positive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like with the I am. If you don't do anything but look in the mirror and say, I am, don't finish it. Don't put anything else there until you know exactly what to follow it with. Mm -hmm. But for now, you just reaffirm that you are and you know you are. It's so funny you say that because I have been adding like sometimes. So when I do this sometimes and I'm looking into my own eyes and I say, Kate, I love you. And it feels like I'm saying it to someone else. It feels like there's another human being with me and then sometimes I just get so happy and I'm like, you are so beautiful. <laughs> so well, I have, I have started adding those I am's afterwards yes. and, but they're, they're not set in stone every day. It's like whatever bubbles up in me at that point. Um, it's, and it, and it's only positive ways to go only positive. I suggest that the first time you move away from I am or I love you, followed by I am. Well, then the next time you want to do it and add something, say, I know that I am. Ah, wonderful. Okay, nice. and you can yeah. go with that for a day or two or a week or two or whatnot. Follow mm -hmm. that with I love that I am. <laughs> okay, you can follow that with I see that I am. Mm. Okay, and then you can go I am powerful. The next day, I am glorious. I am funny. Ha ha. And that will make you crack a smile. The it first will. Time, <laughs> the first time you do. But I'm just saying, find some words that are good and nice and comforting and whatever, and then put them after your I am. Yeah. And for those that are listening, if you guys have some great I ams, put them in the comments. Let share them with people. Yes. Yeah, because it, we tend to be self-conscious about openly doing the positive things, especially for ourselves. We're even self-conscious about doing something nice for somebody else. How yeah. sick is that? Yeah. So we right. have a long way to go. Yes, yes. Okay. And, and the meditation, there's going to be a lot of self-healing in there. 
Yes. Uh, Audrey says, Audrey just said, I am funny, made me smile. <laughs> Good for Audrey, you, Audrey. You make me smile, honey. For so Absolutely. Many I'm so glad to see you. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah. And you are funny. <laughs> yeah. You are, you are, yes. Now, when we're talking about manifesting, I want to let people know that I am setting up a, a research project. And, and yeah. the whole topic is manifesting and creating your own reality. And if you would like to be included in this project, um, just either direct message me or you could um, call my office. My phone number there is 607-732-9911. Just leave your name and phone number and a good time to return the call, either morning, afternoon, or early evening. And I will call you as soon as I can. And I'm setting up some questions. And I'd just like to spend, I don't know, an hour or so. And we can do it on the phone. We could do it on Zoom. But I, I am very, very curious and interested to find out more about how we are creating our own reality, how we're manifesting or how we're not manifesting. Yeah. Um, you know, where, where you're at. And I'd like to get a, a wide variety of people that want to participate in this. So, um, you know, I, I'm very excited about it. And I think this full moon has just been bringing a lot of things, um, things to do that, that are very helpful for people. And, and there's no charge for this. Like, this is just like, this is something that I want to put together. I want to gather data on this. And I would like all of you to be a part of it. Sounds great. Yeah. It does. Sounds very interesting. Yeah. Now, you know, I wanted to talk about some things that you can do. So we talked about the whole I am's and looking in the mirror and saying that, you know, I love you and that how important that is. But on this full moon time, it is a time for self-healing and it's a time for yeah. recharging. Like that's a big yeah. deal. So, you know, the first thing I would say is ground yourself, you know, ground yourself and go outside, you know, yeah, <laughs> go, go. I mean, oh, I, oh, I want to say this before we move on. We are expecting some bad storms here in about 15 minutes. Oh, um, yeah. So there's high winds coming. There's a lot of thunder and lightning going to happen. And if the sun's out right now. It looks beautiful. It's 70 degrees. But I think the heat is what's causing some, some disturbances in the force right mm -hmm. now. So I just want to say that in case we, it does happen and we do get cut off. So, you know, that there's stuff going on here. Um, hi, Carol. I see Carol's online. Good to see you. Hello. Um, so anyway, back to our list. So ground yourself, go outside. I don't know that we're going to be able to see the moon because of these storms. And that's what made me think about it. It's like, go outside, enjoy this moon tune into nature, listen to the night sounds. Even if you're inside, crack that window open and listen, listen to the sound that the rain would make on the leaves or on the grass or on a tin roof. You know, if it's not raining where you are, listen to the night creatures. Do you have any mm -hmm. owls, peepers? You know, what, what's happening out there in the night? You know, meditating under the moonlight is amazing. You can do yeah. deep breathing. Um, during this time, let those in your life know that you love them and care about them. You know, I, I, I love that. This is, this is also a time of completion, right? This is the, yeah, this is the completion the complete, end of the cycle. Yes. So in that completion, just letting people know how you feel about them is so important and journal, you know, journal, journal, mm -hmm. um, something you can do before the full moon happens or, you know, close to it, clean and organize your personal physical space. Um, the more organized you are, the more you declutter, the more energy is going to move. And, and this is a place where, you know, we are completing, we're going to get ready to start the new cycle where we're bringing new things in. So by decluttering, you're making space for all that to happen. Especially a week from now. Yes. Because we will have peaked in this part and then we're really gearing up to put out the new thing we want to, to receive. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you can charge your crystals, put them out where the moon is going oh, yeah. to uh, hit them. You can make moon water by taking some water in a jar, 
putting it in the moonlight and um, and then you'll have that very charged water. Um, have gratitude. It makes a difference. It does. It does. Yeah, it does. Um, it's suggested eat a healthy natural meal. Um, again, to completion is tying up loose ends. If you've got things that are hanging in the air or you're a procrastinator, tie up those loose ends. Uh, <laughs> so they, they say that um, stress <laughs> levels are caused a lot by procrastination, by putting yeah. off the completion of things. And they're li usually little things. You know, I tell yeah. people, if you have a bunch of things to do and they're causing you stress, I said, make a list and then start with the easiest things first and, and, you know, get them, they might be five minute things, get them off your list. And then you're left with a much smaller list. That's very doable. That's so, a hard one for me, it, <laughs> <laughs> but we can do it. We can yes. do this. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, you know, it's so funny. I, I, I love, I love to dance dance under the moonlight take a moonlight walk um yeah isn't there a song that says dancing in the moonlight i love that song <laughs> yes there is yeah there is yeah um in some traditions <laughs> that i've belonged to they have said you know especially if somebody has passed and you mm -hmm. have things to say to them but it doesn't have to be that it could be somebody that's still with you write a letter and then just burn it and and send it to the ethers that's very powerful when it, you burn it, it it's mm -hmm. really powerful yes yeah. something yeah. about the fire and all of that stuff so yeah well in the indigenous it's it's releasing the words to the to the, the universe. great yeah. spirit Right. in in the smoke so so right. for them it's uh, you know tobacco is prayer that right. is prayer um right. so there's the cleansing herbs there's the prayer herbs um and and the most important thing of all is just relax and breathe you know just yeah. just take in the beautiful energies of the moon so many people talk about how the moon is you know it really gears you up and it you know it's exciting but you know what, when you ground yourself and you're sitting under that energy and just, just breathe in that energy and just feel one with your surroundings. Well, it's a way of doing a constant meditation as a part of your life, as a part of how you roll, so to speak, because when we say we're going to meditate, we usually set aside a moment in time and we concentrate and dedicate ourselves to that. But actually, you end up, sometimes you, after many years, you end up where you're meditating for a few moments at a time as you go from one room to another, as you go from one task to another. You might meditate just for less than a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of get used to a certain frame of mind that's what are they calling it now, mindfulness or whatever. That it, is. it is, it is mindfulness. And for those that aren't normal um, meditators or regular meditators, I guess I want to say, um, I tell my Reiki students even, I'm like, it, it, it could, meditating could just be as you're washing your hands and be yeah. mindful of feeling the soap, feeling the warm water, you know, and, you know, it, it might just be a minute, but it's a minute of your life that you're being mindful of the present. I think it fine tunes your ability to be sensitive, yeah. you know, whatever capacity you have for that, I think you kind of boost it a bit once you learn to be comfortable with that mindset more mm -hmm. often, more often, more often. So when you want to do it with a purpose, it's a lot easier to slip into. It is. Uh, walking can be a great mindful meditation. Oh yeah, that one's good. And you know, for those of the those of you that like to eat try mindful eating yes uh, that's true. you know i i i remember my my um first meditation teacher and she gave us an m&m &M, and oh. m&m &M, one m&m and just not eating it just allowing it and just oh. feeling all the changes that happen to that m&m because it starts out real 
slippery and smooth. Yeah. And then it starts getting rough. And then you can feel it getting thinner. And then all of a sudden you have this burst of beautiful chocolate that comes out. And it's liquid at that point because it's been in your warm mouth. That's true. I I never thought about that. Oh my gosh, that can be the most beautiful meditation that you can sit through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that. So, but it can be with anything. It could be, you know, with eating a salad. Strawberry. Just, just absolutely. Just yeah. mindful eating, you know, just, yeah. and it helps with weight loss too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, one M&M could last you maybe five minutes as opposed to how many can you put in your mouth and chew? Right. right? <laughs> in a moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, great big green avocado and cucumber salad. That oh. was nice. That sounds lovely. So nice. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. 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 I'm so, interested in, in where this meditation today is going. I'm so oh, excited. well, and I want to say Carol said the moon dance from Van Morrison, too. That's another good moon oh, dance. Oh, yeah. 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 I love it. I love it. Um, meditation. Well, it, it's really going to be. I'm going to be going about balancing with our personal needs. So I think I feel that this full moon is really about self-healing and about self introspection um, yeah. and, and reflecting on what you have in your life, right? We don't want to reflect on what's missing or what you want at this point. No. It's, it's reflecting on what you have in your life, what relationships mm-hmm. you have in your life, what um what what your surroundings are in your life so it's and it's gratitude for that that you have in your life so i think and again i have no meditation set up i'm this is going to be another spirit-led meditation we're going to use you know the the three to one count that i love so much so you know you know we're gonna we're gonna do that my favorite yeah i yeah. i love it too it just put it puts you in the space so quickly and you know you guys have now done this three to one count i don't even know how many times it's been this year this is probably what the sixth time maybe this year mm-hmm. and okay. um so i mean boy you just imagine in your head and you see three 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 two 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 one 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 before you know it you're in the zone and i love yes. that yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like it when you first go somewhere and learn meditation, quote unquote, or take a course, they want to drag it out so that, you know, you feel you got your money's worth. But the real truth is, just like you just said it, 333-222-111, boom, I'm there. As long as you realize you're there, mm-hmm. you are. You are. Absolutely. And you can keep going further and further, deeper and deeper. Mm-hmm. But that yes. first time through three mm-hmm. numbers. Yep. It does work. Yep. Yeah. So I'll do the th- the three 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 two 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 one one one. But I will also count you down ten more steps. Yes, so let's, exactly. Let's get like you deeper. That. But know that you guys can do this on your own. I mean, when I first started, you know, I had to do everything just right, and I had to be sitting, and I had to, you know, be concentrating, and there couldn't be any noise around me. Now I could do it walking down the street. Sometimes yeah. I. I, you know, I, wherever you are and, and it's something that you don't have to even have your eyes closed, but closing your eyes helps the beginners to go deeper and to shut off the outside world. Mm -hmm. Um, And it puts you into that alpha zone. I mean, if your eyes are open and you're paying attention to everything around you, you know, you you, you aren't in alpha. You you need Mm -hmm. to shut off some of that outside stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I big welcome to Joe. Joe is here. Um, Hi, Joe. Yeah, Joanne. Um, good to have you here. Oh, she must be at the doctor's. <laughs> 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 and I, I mean, I am so grateful that I have such followers and people that care about what we're doing. That you know, even waiting, you know, in places that aren't home, Mm -hmm. they're signing in. That's beautiful. Um, And, you know, anybody that's listening to it later on, I appreciate all of you too. (laughs) You know, (laughs) yeah, I I just really want to get this stuff out. I want to get out the fact that we do create our own reality and that we're living a beautiful, charmed life. And the gratitude for the things that we have and the people around us I think it's interesting to note that 
for the first time, there are 8 billion people on the planet. And if you say 1% of those, you know, start to meditate, it's a much bigger statement than it was in 1940. You know, so, you're right. Yes, that is a wonderful way of thinking about it. And, and, and during the full moon, more people meditate on this day or tomorrow um, than any other day during the month. Right. So full right. moon seems to be a time when people want to meditate. And that's one reason why I added the new moon cycle part of this too, because that now we've done it twice a month, you know, and we could meditate every day of the month. I would be there right. for you all. <laughs> right. I agree. This yeah. particular moon, I'm not sure about where you are. I'll have to actually check on the difference from where you are and where I am. But for me, this is happening in the second house, which means it has financial repercussions. Mm. It's all about the house of money and acquisition and things that you acquire and, you know, stuff, your stuff. So Mickey is in England for those that are wondering. Yeah. So Mickey's so in England here. and I'm in upstate New York. So we're, right. we're five hours apart. Right. And in five hours, when you're talking about the moon, it really moves, you know, it gets up and goes. So yeah. although it's in my second house, which means I should consider everything under the the tent of what it means to me financially. For mm -hmm. someone else, mm -hmm. it could be in the 10th house, which means it's all about your, your uh, career and how you're going to be seen and what you're famous for or seventh house, which is your partner and, you know, whoever mm -hmm. you're married to or et cetera. So it has a profound emotional effect right now. This is, uh, whenever we're talking about what the moon does, we're talking about your emotions. And of course, it's your emotions that are going to be the fuel for your intentions. That's why we're tying the two things together. Beautiful. You know, so the meditation is a big part of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So keep those things in mind. Um, this meditation is really going to be about you. Um, it, it's it's going to be about self healing and yeah. uh, and keep those things in mind because it it's going to be very personal to each person. I will be as um, vague <laughs> as vague uh -huh. as I can so that each person can have their own unique experience and you know if you want to share those experiences that's great and if you don't that's great too mm -hmm. um i just and i i would like i'm so happy to have these meditations that are being recorded and they were they are going to be up and so people could revisit them anytime they need them if they find one that's you know more relevant than another one then great then visit those Okay. Yeah. Do you think we're ready? I think so. I think we're ready too. Um, so Miss Mickey, do you want me to I'll you can either stop your camera, but I will pin myself. Okay. So that you can be autonomous. And um and I just want everybody to just just close your eyes and just relax a little bit. Just take a couple of deep breaths to relax your body. Just settle into your seat. Release any feelings of what's around you. You just have to be here with us in this moment for this very short time that we're together during this meditation. Now I would like for you to, on your inhale, visualize and say to yourself, three, three, three. And inhale again. Two, two, two. And inhale another time. One, one, one. You are now at a deeper level of mind. You are calm and peaceful. And in a moment, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. 
Imagine yourself at the top of a staircase and that staircase has plush, beautiful carpeting and you're in your bare feet. And it has a beautiful handrail on the right and it's wood and it's smooth. Take hold of that handrail and as you're walking down the steps, feel the beautiful plushy carpet between your toes. Ten, nine, going deeper and deeper, eight, seven, deeper and deeper, six, five, deeper and deeper, four, deeper, three, Two, going deeper and deeper. One, you are now at a beautiful, deeper level of consciousness. You are in your heart space. This room, this space has been created for you. And it is where all the love and the healing the joy, the peace, compassion, all those feelings are in this heart space that belongs to you. And this is the place where you are safe and where you can do most or all of your healing. So as you look around this space, I just want you to see that there's a small fire, fireplace. And it's burning and it's bright, brightly lit. And you can feel the warmth. And in this room, you have an easy chair. You have a couch and some tables. And you can furnish this space however you see fit. But I would like for you now to just sit in the lazy chair or lie on the couch whatever you think. And as we're relaxing here, I want you to feel the healing energy that's in this space, inside your heart space. Now the full moon can reach every place on earth. So the full moon energy is reaching your heart space. Feel the warmth, feel the healing. So many times we want to take care of others. We assist in their healing. As mothers and fathers, we take care of our children. We take care of each other. But this is a time to take care of you. Allow all those healing energies to penetrate you, starting at your crown. Allow those energies to filter down through your crown and down through your third eye into your throat area, healing, healing each one of these areas as we go through them. Down, now it's reaching your heart center. And this beautiful healing energy is filling your heart area completely. And it's coming down to your solar plexus. Well, this solar plexus is a place where your soul resides. This is your power. And this beautiful healing energy is coming down into your power. Healing anything that you have, any concerns that you have, any relationship issues that you have, any money issues that you have. All this healing is taking place. 
and it's moving down even further still. Now it's into your sacral area, moving down to your root area, and then flowing down your legs and out your feet and through those bare feet of yours right into the ground, grounding you to Mother Earth. Feel this energy as it's still coming into your crown, circulating around your entire body, moving through each chakra, filling you with healing energy, and then connecting you directly to the earth. This is such a beautiful feeling being so connected to the universe and to the earth. And this is the way we were designed to always be. So let's just revel in this moment. Just, just feel this moment of peace and healing for ourselves. And you can keep in mind any specific healing that you need. It could be emotional. It could be physical. Anything that needs healing in your life, this is what you need to bring into this meditation. So let's rest in this for just a little while. Now, as we have this beautiful healing energy that has just filled us, completely filled us, we are now ready where we can share this healing energy. And I would like to suggest that we share it with each other here. So just imagine sending out love from your heart to the people that are on here to Mickey and Joe and Carol and Audrey and all the other people that will be listening in the future or anybody that's on watching and have not made themselves known to me. So we're sending energy to everyone that is witnessing this Always bringing the energy back to yourself. First filling yourself with love and compassion. And then sending this love and compassion around to everyone else. And we can rest in this for a moment. Feels so good to be sharing love, compassion joy, laughter, peace. Now, as this energy is growing because who we are creating such a vortex of beauty and love and healing that I would like for you, each one of you, to send it out to those that you love and care about. And we'll just rest in this for a moment.
Now we're going to spread this energy even further out. We're going to send this energy out to those that are in your life that you really don't know, but you see them. Maybe the man or woman that pumps your gas or a clerk at the grocery store. Um, just people that you see that are in your town. Send them all love, compassion, peace, joy, laughter. And then broaden that and send it out to your whole neighborhood. There are so many people that live around us and we don't know them. but we want this love and compassion to reach them as well. As we sit with this intention, of love, peace, joy, compassion. Expand this to whatever state you live in, whatever country you live in. Spread this peace. Each one of us is so powerful. we can make a difference. Send out love, harmony, joy, kindness. And now increase that, make it even bigger. Circle the earth. You have so much love inside of you to share with the world because you took the time to heal and fill yourself first. And the universal energy keeps pouring into your crown, filling you, as you're sending this out around the earth to all people, all animals, all plants, all insects, all fish, all crystals, all water. The love of the universe with your heart signature is being spread around the earth and into the earth and all the way down to the earth's core. We just completed a cycle as we brought in the universal energy. We connected with the earth we now spread that love through our heart space to everybody, every being, every plant, animal, insect, fish, bird around the earth until that energy of us connected again at the core of the earth. That is a healing cycle. And healing in this way is more healing for each one of us than we could ever imagine. The love and the peace that we promote is felt around the entire earth. Now I'd like to give you a moment 
for whatever special intentions that you have before I bring you back. So let's rest in this feeling of receiving and giving, which helps us to receive even more. Now, as we are going to start to come back, back to being fully awake, but remembering the feeling we have, the love, the compassion, the safety that we have from being in our heart space. Remember this feeling. In any time you feel anxious or you feel just out of sorts, or a situation around you feels just off a little bit. You can just close your eyes quickly, do three through three, two, 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 one, one, one. And remember this feeling that you have. And you can be back here sending out love, peace, compassion to whatever situation is happening. You have that power. Now, as we start to wake up, I would like for you to take a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in and out. And wiggle your fingers and your toes. And you can stretch, open your eyes and come back to the room. Come back to be with us. And let's see, remove my pin. There's Nikki. Hi. Wow. Orwin. There you are. Okay. Whoa, that was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody else feel it. It seems to go really deep. Um, I don't even know how long it was. Um, I don't know. Um, okay, Carol said, beautiful outreach of love. We are all related heart. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. And Audrey said that was wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I I hope it 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 gives you something, it helps, it um we just we're a, we're beings that help and assist so many others and you know a lot of it was healing others but it was healing us first you know that was that was the important takeaway healing the relationships that we have with each other with our families with friends um healing situations uh and just healing, healing our bodies, our emotions. And then, and only then, do we reach out to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we each have enough on our own plate. Keeps us going for a while because we got work to do. Yeah. We really have. It's so profound. Once it does do something, quote unquote, you can really tell. And then you want to keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's so relaxing. You know, it's mm -hmm. like the, it just feels so peaceful. And I have to say, my phone rang out in the office during it. And mm -hmm. I, I tried to talk louder over it. <laughs> I can hear it. Oh, good. I'm so glad I could hear it. I, 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 I didn't even think about it. I should have closed the door or put the phone on mute or something, but yeah. 
okay, everything is right. I, I'm sure that whoever that was that called was feeling the energy and it was saying, call, you know, I've got to reach out, got to reach out. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope, I hope each one of you can get out tonight, even if it's, you know, just if you can get out there and be in between raindrops and take your shoes off. You know, feel the plushy carpet of Mother Earth yeah. under your toes. And and if you can't get out, then just imagine that because yeah. your imagination is just as good as doing it. You know, yeah. so just imagine that you're out there, maybe standing on a beautiful mossy patch under a tree and maybe maybe sit there and put your you know back up against that tree and uh feel the energies that come from the earth it's beautiful absolutely beautiful this, this is a lovely, lovely time um the whole thing about the full moon is that the two big planets are opposite each other so they're really working as a yin and yang team at this moment this is big you know, it's so full of power. It's literally a pregnant moon. So, you know, this is the nine month period. You know, we're sliding toward nine months. We're at about six months sliding toward nine months, at which time it'll be new again. Uh huh. Yeah. Our yeah. intentions would have been burnt. So we're starting out with a new slide. But this is, this is the countdown. You know, that next week is we have peaked and we're getting ready again. So this getting ready re and, and we're getting ready to formulate either new intentions, new manifestations right. or tweaking the ones that we had. Mm -hmm. um, maybe maybe you realize that, oh, well, I will. I wanted a I don't know, whatever, a red car. <laughs> and and maybe, you know what, I, I think I really need a bicycle. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I was asking for a car, but, you know, I think a bike would be better for me. You know, whatever, whatever it is. Um, yeah. It's about you being very aware that you You did it. You created it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So rest in that and then start tweaking the way that you go about it. But the main thing is to know that it's possible. Yes. Right. Yeah. So again, in that meditation, like I kept hearing, you are powerful. You have yeah. this power. You have, you have these abilities. So mm -hmm. we have them. They're our birthright. Live them and feel them. Right. I am powerful. We're trying to build spiritual habits. That's really what we're working on. Because we have, like you mentioned earlier, that well, people had taught us to look at it in a different way. Yes. And so now what we're trying to do is repair that and make some new spiritual habits. Yeah. That, that That's feel, what I'm that feel to right you. to each person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. None of the things that Nikki or I say are for everybody, you know, but the people that join us um are very like-minded people and 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 it's just so important that each one of you know how valued you are how important you are to this whole world well another thing is that the power that you learn to harness comes in a lot of different streams a lot of different types and i want to remind folks that just because you don't see it whatever it is manifest immediately doesn't mean it's not going to happen. When I learned about Seth, that was over 50 years ago. I thought I was learning about it. Only within the last two, three, that I'm back. And I discovered that there was a very large part of it that I had completely missed and it is probably the most important of all the parts so I had to grow into this part that I'm learning now you know and so you just don't know when the thing is supposed to be on your horizon 
my intention to have it was instigated in the late 70s, early 80s. You see? But here is a big part of all that I had set in motion then. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, Nikki. I'm so glad that you had those experiences. And, you know, an experience that I had, and I know I've shared this before, but the building that I'm in right now, I've been here for nine years, but seven years before that, I started manifesting this building. Uh, it was on my way to work. And I would imagine every day, and it was for sale, I couldn't afford it. I would go buy it and I would just imagine what each room, what I would do with and how I would make it look. And um, it, it took it took some time, but I ended up buying it. It, it did end up being mine. Um, I never stopped manifesting. And when I started doing that, I didn't even know what manifesting meant. So that's a big part of what, you know, our, our manifesting program is going to be is we are always manifesting whether we know it or not. So manifest the best life that you can imagine. Yeah. 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 I love it. I love you, Mickey. And everybody and else. I know I love Audrey and Carol and Joe, and I'm so glad that you guys are here with us. Um, yeah. yeah. And and all of you that join us later too. Um, I will, I don't know if I'm going to get this on right away. It might be tomorrow when I get this up on YouTube, but it, it, Facebook will put it up. They do their own thing. So it'll go up shortly after we're, we finish, but. Is there anything else that we think we need to add? Not that I can think of. Okay. I'm so anxious for everyone to actually get started with the first two little words of I am, and then the rest comes easy. But we have to get started to where we form that habit. There is a question for Mickey. Oh. It oh. is, when are you coming to the States to do this in person? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I would like her to come too. <laughs> now, sometime this year, I may be doing this from England. Right. Yeah, maybe. But if I'm we not, time it right. I'm not closing the possibility. But it is not part of the agenda that I'm creating at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that we have Zoom and Facebook so that we can do this. You know, and it's so crazy. You know, we talk about the time difference and how the moon is for you at this time. And it's different for our time, blah, blah, blah. But here we are speaking in real time. Right with all of this distance of time between us. So this this is timelessness. Right. Yeah. yeah. Manufactured and we're much more aware of that now than we've yeah. ever been before. Yeah. So, uh, but with yeah. tech with technology has kind of opened those doors to where we can work timelessly. Right. Yeah. And I love it that technology and science is catching up and saying the things that us people in woo-woo have been saying all along. Yes, I agree. Yeah. The yeah. two things have come together very well. I mean, yes, it's especially as a yep. part of science, but the physics and the metaphysics have really met. Absolutely. And right. Just the fact that, you know, in the metaphysical world, the thought always was that thought created physical reality science yes. didn't say that now they are it's they are time saying time. they are saying that thought precedes physical reality and thought can change physical reality yes. and and it's being proven again and again and again so i think that um the indigenous people the metaphysical people they had it right all along so we're yes. we're in we're in a good space right now Ooh, you, I didn't hear that, Mickey. 
who knows where this is all going. I mean, I boy, we're off and running in the new now. Yeah, I keep hearing that there's some big stuff going to happen around 2032. Like that yes. seems to be a big number right now. Yes. Carol yes. says, be open with a big smiley face. <laughs> exactly yeah oh yeah now she's talking about you coming to the united states oh <laughs> I don't it, thought. it is uh not on the agenda at the present but yes i thank you for asking yeah <laughs> we'll all just have to come visit you no that's how it works <laughs> that's how it works all right well, I think we're going to close this session. It's been, our hour is like up in one minute. We've done so well. Um, I love I love the timing of everything. And I just love being with you guys. I did not mention this, but this was Mickey's idea. This is candles for man manifesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I lit my candles and I was kind of watching them because they're, they're like melting down and I don't have anything under them. So they're just sitting on a table. So I'm going to, you know, kind of disconnect now and clean up the wax. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it does add a good bit to it. We can get into that another day. But Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And, and people could bring up any topic they want in, in the speaking with Kate area and we'll you know we'll do our best to answer it or just you know speak your piece and what what are your beliefs and and where are you at in things so we didn't talk about numbers this time i mean there's there's so many pieces to every little thing and we can only cover so much in an hour <laughs> yeah yeah like I'm wearing pink because of the pink moon. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I love red is my favorite color. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Well, I'd like to sign off, say goodbye to everybody, and we will catch you guys in two weeks for the new moon. I will post an event on there as soon as I figure out the exact dates that we need to use but we'll probably do it at a 1.30 in the afternoon time, no matter when it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sound good? Thank you. to see everyone. Yeah. I love you all. Thank you for sharing this beautiful meditation with us. Bye, Audrey. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.